which starts with the fundamental foundation of providing an ubiquitous cloud ecosystem. We will make our products, our offerings available across every possible popular hyperscaler in a containerized or a virtual machine format in every public cloud and a private cloud environment and also enable this for sovereignty, which is clearly we are seeing as a very important need in many customers of ours, especially in federal, government, public services, certain financial institutions who want to create a sovereign cloud, and also enable the telco cloud, which is where the new edge is getting built. So that's the ubiquitous cloud ecosystem which we enable. The second is how can we create a layer of infusing AI capability leveraging these clouds? And these AI capabilities could be machine learning, natural language processing, or even the newer capabilities around generative AI. Those are the two foundational building blocks. Now the question of why four clouds? Four clouds is what we have today. It's a start. We have many more clouds which will continue to build as and when we evolve around this four. Either we enhance and augment the four, or if there is a need arises or if the market needs arises, or the customers tell us that we need a fifth cloud or a sixth cloud, we will build towards that. So what are our four clouds? And, and before I jump to the four clouds, I'll talk about the two more other key enablers. One is how do I make sure, how do we make sure that we get API enablement for all the capabilities which we are opening on the clouds and create a marketplace, a partner marketplace for our partner, our customers, our community to exchange and even monetize intellectual property they built on top of our cloud platforms. So what are the four clouds? The first one is the platform of trust cloud, what we call as the business cloud. It is about to bring any capability which we have as PBCs or packaged business capabilities, which today includes commerce. There are multiple parts of commerce. There is marketplaces, there is storefronts, there is pricing, promotion, transaction engines, those capabilities. Customers could consume the whole thing as a stack. They could consume it in packaged business capabilities. Second is the marketing cloud built upon the ever robust Unica platform engine. When we got Unica, it had four. Now we have 16. Uh, capabilities and we continue to plug in and expand and there are some very interesting examples of the marketplace where you're plugging in third-party partner capabilities on top of marketing cloud. We have an aftermarket service cloud built upon the Quest engine. So that's enabling aftermarket service capabilities. Then we're infusing cognitive AI, those capabilities. That's our business cloud. Enabling fundamentally the core platform of trust, reliable. You fire a transaction, you get to an outcome. The second is our data cloud. The data cloud is built upon all the good assets which we created on top of the Actian data platform, which is what has got into our data cloud. The hybrid data cloud operates from edge to the cloud, gives the customer a choice of different data platforms, data warehousing, NoSQL, and different vector databases and other capabilities for the newer generative AI and a lot of other capabilities, and provide you a fundamental data engine on which you could build your assets on. The third thing, is our application development cloud. This is about as either you consume package capabilities or you build applications. When you build applications, you can build applications using digital experience. You can build applications using multi-experience across mobile, various different channels. You could build applications using low code. You could build applications using pro code. You could infuse service management capabilities. You could build workflow capabilities. You could build document uh, AI, document management workflow capabilities, and, and various different ways to build an application. Intelligent application, ingest or integrate generative AI, chatbots, those kind of capabilities. So the app dev cloud is about really enabling that, but a very important thing, we have a very large install base of customers who are running on some of the world's most popular low-code and no-code platform, which have been built over the last 25 to 30 years. We want to make sure that every one of those application capabilities gets enabled on the new cloud. So that's our whole MX Go strategy, which is which is which is the Max Go and those pieces which enables the AppDev cloud. The fourth cloud we have is the Intelligent Automation Cloud. This is the collection of all our automation assets, which can enable automation in for IT operations, digital operations, and also telecom network operations, and all the pieces around the cloud. We've got globally scalable deployment products like BigFix, Workload Automation. We've got our whole dry ice AI ops suite of capabilities, our entire uh, telecom network like ANA and those capabilities, they're all being enabled on the fourth cloud. So the goal is basically bring customers still have, a, as I talked before, you still can consume those individual products in a current model. You could consume them through a marketplace. You could consume them through an as a service, or you could consume them 
in one of these four clouds or as a combination of these four clouds in whatever shape and form the business needs. So again, finally, to summarize, we will be in the journey to cloud and meet the customer with our cloud offerings where they need it, not where we want them to be. So that's the most important thing. The choices with the customer will enable them in the journey and with customer experience at the center. That's our four cloud story. Thank you.